All right, it is Wednesday the 7th. It is 7.56. I just dropped off my kids at school. I'm back at my house, in front of my house, recording this fucking podcast. And all that fucking good bullshit. But, you know, I had a couple situations pop up and, um, you know, it irritates the fuck out of me. You know, and I'm just going to speak on it because, you know, sometimes, or look, even in this generation right now, Nobody wants to take responsibility for their actions. Nobody wants to take responsibility for what they're doing. All right? What's going on in their life? Whether it's good or fucking bad or, you know, people put you on blast or whatever the fuck it is. It's it's fucking just irritating. Irritating. If you do something and it causes a negative effect in your life or it causes a ripple of a negative effects among everyone around you and yet you're going to fucking deny it yet you're not going to fucking fess up to it yet you're not going to fucking just man the fuck up person the fuck up and take your responsibilities on the fucking chin you're not going to fucking sit there and deal with your consequences Because there's consequences to life, there's consequences to your actions, there's consequences to anything. Whether they're good consequences or bad consequences, people tend to think consequences as bad. But you know what? The majority of them are. You know, if you can't fucking deal with shit, then don't fucking do it. Don't fucking fuck with people's lives. Don't fuck with people's emotions. Don't fuck with anybody's fucking well-being. All right, people do this shit and don't fucking bat a fucking eye. It's like they don't feel bad or they feel entitled to doing whatever they want to do when it comes to consequences for others and their actions. Look, I live my life to my fullest. I live my life to how I want to, but yet I have consideration for everyone around me. All right, when I think, I just don't think about myself. I think about everybody that might fall under what I do. Okay, I've learned to do this. I used to fucking just whatever. Fuck that. Fuck them. Fuck all this shit. It's only about me. Look, and there's points in time in your life where it's going to be like that. And it's going to suck for everybody fucking else. But you know what? Sometimes you need to think of all the consequences that are going to happen, whether they're good or fucking bad. You know what I'm saying? The reactions for those that are main in your life. You know, you're going to have people you cut out. You're going to have people that are in and out of your life. But you're going to have those that are in your life permanently. Whether they're family, best fucking friends, childhood friends, bosses, co-workers, whatever the fuck it is. You know, if you're just going to fucking blatantly just do things that are going to harm others or affect their lives and yet not take the responsibilities for that all right, people are gonna look down on you. People aren't gonna respect you. People ain't gonna give a fuck about you and your situation when something fuck happens to you. They're gonna look at you like fuck them. That's the way you treated me. That's the way I treat them. You know, you have to treat better people better around you. All right, you know, when there's it's just fucking insane to me because fucking people just don't give a fucking shit. All right, it 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 like it's. What is going on that makes you think it's okay? All right. Why is it that you feel like that? Is it because of the way your parents treat you? Is it because of the way fucking people treat you? Or is it the uh, you just feel everything's supposed to be handed to you? Or nobody's supposed to fucking get in your fucking way? Well, you know what? Obstacles are always placed in your way to fucking teach you lessons. And whether you want to learn that fucking lesson or not is up to you. And how you fucking deal with that lesson is up to you. Because you look, you can fucking take your consequences, if it's good or bad, in stride. Alright? You confront them. You see why it happened. You learned why it happened. And then you correct the situation. And if it's a good consequence, well, guess the fuck what? You fucking accept it. Humbly. Alright? You're like, alright. Good. I did this, you know, and then you continue on with your fucking life. You know, it's irritating as fuck to me, all right, because, you know, I'm going through my own little situation of people that not want to deal with their consequences. They don't want to deal. They want to run and fucking hide 
like it's O fucking K, you know, and then try to talk to me like it's O fucking K, you know, and I'll fucking nod my head and move on and move along and not fucking just look, I'm not going to fucking not deal with it. But you know what? Sometimes people have to learn that lesson the fucking hard way. They have to. I learned everything the hard way. No one was there to guide me, teach me fucking any of that stuff. All right? I was on my own. All right? I didn't have anyone to fucking guide me or teach me or how to fucking move around in this fucking world. All right? I knew how to live a certain life and I lived that certain life. And then as I grew up, I understood. I got it. I adjusted. I adapted. And I learned to that, you know what? This happened. Fuck, it makes me feel like shit. I need to stay right here, feel how this fucking feels, and then fucking adjust it and change it and grow with it so this doesn't happen to me again. And sometimes people can't learn like that. Sometimes people don't process it that way. Well, you know what? Life will hand you whatever it needs to hand you to teach you how to handle things. And sometimes you got to stand back, relax, let it fucking be, and let that life teach that lesson. Let them deal with their consequences, their emotions, and all that fucking good stuff. Because guess what? That's the best fucking teacher in this fucking world. Life will kick you straight in the fucking balls if you let it. Because if you don't deal with your consequences, they eventually catch up to you. And when they catch up to you, oh my God, they fucking grow and get worse and get so much fucking more horrible. It just is what it fucking is. You know, it's something that I fucking dealt with. It's something that happened to me. It's something that's fucking gone on in my life. And you know what? I learned to fucking stand right fucking there, take whatever the fuck is about to happen, because it's better now than it is later. Because all it's going to be is an emotional buildup that you're not going to be able to fucking handle. And when it fucking happens, oh my God, it fucking sucks like a motherfucker. This shit is horrible. But you know what? If you deal with it, you're honest with it, and you handle it right there and then don't lie to yourself about it don't fucking try to convince yourself otherwise because guess what if you stand right there handle it and take care of it it's over it's done you don't have to fucking deal with it again because when it fucking builds up and it catches up to you it's worse it's longer you have to deal with it more whether whether you do anything or say anything about it that's all i'm fucking saying Look, handle your responsibilities. Take your fucking consequences. Take that shit and stride. It'll make your life easier. It'll make your life better. Because if you handle it now, you ain't got to deal with it later. And it's always better to get shit out of the fucking way and taken care of. That's all I'm fucking saying. This is Angry Motherfucking Dad. You can find my shit on fucking IGTV, YouTube. You want to listen to shit? Spreaker, SoundCloud, Spotify, Stitcher, Fucking SoundCloud, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, fucking Podbean, all that fucking bullshit. I'm fucking everywhere. You can find this shit everywhere. You want to follow me on social media? IGTV, fucking, or not IGTV, IG, Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, fucking Tumblr, Snapchat, all that fucking bullshit. You can fucking find me everywhere. You fucking easily get it done. All right? You know, I'm recommending podcast today. I listen to Wolverine's Long Night. I listen to it with my son on our way to school. It's about a half hour fucking long. Episode 10 was fucking amazing. Whoever's doing that shit, hit that shit right on the fucking head. So I'm going to post that shit. I'm going to fucking share it in my fucking bottom. Go check it the fuck out. And if you listen to it, let me know what you fucking think. Because I'll tell you right now, I enjoy that shit like a motherfucker. So I'll see y'all motherfuckers on Friday. Enjoy your motherfucking week and all that fucking good bullshit. Fuck. Always living. Always living. Always living. Always living.